In this problem, we're going to deal with the angle 7 pi over 3. Since there's no degree symbol, we know we're in radians. We need to draw the angle in standard position, convert it to degree measure, and then name the reference angle in both degrees and radians. So let's start out by sketching our axes and putting our angle measures in radians. So we have 0. Remember, 90 is pi over 2 radians. 180 is pi. 270 is 3 pi over 2. And then when I get back around to 360, I've gone 2 pi radians. So note our angle is 7 pi over 3 radians. Well, where's that on the unit circle? Well, if I do 7 divided by 3 on my calculator, I get 2.3 recurring. So 3, 3 times pi. So as you can see, I've gone further than one rotation. One rotation is 2 pi radians. I've gone further than that. So I need to find coterminal angles to find me an angle that's between 0 and 2 pi. So how do we find coterminal angles? You either add or subtract 360, one revolution, or since we're in radians, I'm going to have to subtract 2 pi. So since I have fractions, I'm going to multiply my 2 pi by 3 over 3. So I have a common denominator. So I have 7 pi minus 2 times 3 is 6 pi over 3, which equals pi over 3. So 7 pi over 3 is coterminal with pi over 3. And we know from our unit circle work that pi over 3 is in quadrant 1. So I draw my terminal side in quadrant 1, and if I need to draw the angle 7 pi over 3, I do one complete revolution, and then I go pi over 3 further on. So that is my angle 7 pi over 3. So that is the answer to A. I've drawn my angle in standard position. Now I need to convert it to degree measure, the 7 pi over 3. So remember the conversion factor is pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to use dimensional analysis. So I have my 7 pi over 3 and I'm going to put radians on it. So I can use my dimensional analysis. And then, since I have radians in the numerator, I mean need radians in the denominator, so I have to put pi radians in the denominator, 180 degrees in the numerator. So I have pi radians down here. And I have 180 degrees in the numerator. The reason I do that is do my radians cancel out? Yes. Let's see if anything else reduces. I get that pi reduces. Those reduce with each other. And then 3 goes into 180 60 times. So my answer is, don't forget I have a 7 here. 7 times 60 degrees all divided by 1. So what's my answer? My answer is 7 times 6 is 42, so it's going to be 420 degrees. So that is the answer to part B. The last thing I have to do is find the reference angle in both degrees and radians. Remember, the reference angle is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So here is the acute angle that the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So I'm just going to label that theta right there. So all we have to do is find theta. Well, luckily, we've already found it. Because 7 pi over 3 was one complete revolution and then plus a pi over 3. 
So we know this angle here, our reference angle, the answer to part C is the reference angle equals pi over 3. And from all our work on the unit circle, we know that is equal to 60 degrees. So we've now found the reference angle for 7 pi over 3 radians.